In this lesson, I'll show you how to write equations for acid-base reactions involving weak acids. The question reads, write a molecular equation, ionic equation, and net ionic equation for the reaction between aqueous acetic acid and aqueous potassium hydroxide. What we're not told here is that aqueous acetic acid is the weak acid. So let's keep that in mind as we do this question. Let's start with the molecular equation. I'll combine this chemical with KOH. This gives us HC2H3O2 plus KOH. This yields, remember that this is our cation and this is our anion. So the OH will combine with the H forming H2O liquid plus this K combining with this part of the chemical. So we have KC2H3O2. This is in its aqueous state. So I'll write down AQ, AQ. This is liquid and AQ over here. We have to make sure that this is balanced. So let's see if it is. We have one potassium here, one potassium there. We have one of this anion on the right side and one on the left side. We also have two hydrogens. And if you combine this hydrogen with this one, you'll also get two and the O's are balanced. So this molecular equation is already balanced. We can move on to the ionic equation. Now what's interesting about weak acids is that they don't completely dissociate. So this compound will stay the way it is. This, however, KOH, will dissociate. So let's rewrite this. We have HC2H3O2 plus KOH. This becomes K1 plus plus OH1 minus. And on the right side of the equation, H2O will remain the way it is because it is liquid, plus this will dissociate into K plus and C2H3O2 aqueous. Keep in mind that these three are also aqueous, so I'll write that down. Now that you have your ionic equation done, you can get rid of spectator ions. Let's see where they are. We have K plus here and K plus on the left side, so they cancel out. This leaves us with this compound plus OH ion, H2O on the right side, and this ion, which has a charge of one minus, on the right side. Therefore, our net ionic equation is HC2H3O2 plus OH one minus forms H2O and the anion C2H3O2 aqueous and one minus as its charge. That right there represents the answer to question number one. If you would like to see the answer to question number two, make sure you watch part two of this series. We'll see you soon.